Isang mapagpalang umaga po sa inyo mga bata. Tuklasin ang kakayahan at pagkakakilanlan, makilala at madama ang pagiging Pilipino. Dito lamang sa Sining Aralan. Hello, good morning everyone and welcome to our new blog. And this is Teacher Alex Dex. And today, we will be talking about the posters. Paskil, kung tawagin sa Pilipino, ang poster. What is poster? A poster is a temporary promotion of an idea, product, or event put up in public space for mass consumption. Posters include both textual and graphical elements. Although a poster may be either wholly graphical or holy text one. Posters are designed to be both eye-catching and informative. But before we will go further, let us know first the advantage of posters. The advantage of posters are cheaper costs, easily visible, encourages people an active response. A poster can send a clear message that inspire people to be active. Audience you want to target increases the chance to have a positive response. And here are also the disadvantages of poster. Once a poster is printed, it will be difficult to make corrections or adaptions. A risk of vandalism and extreme weather conditions. Limited information. No feedback from customers. A stationary mode of advertising. And do not target a particular market. The 11 types of posters are informational, formative, show, political, fashion, corporate, campaign, subject, digital, and creative. Informational poster is the most common type of poster. It is the basic ad poster that you may have noticed on the sidewalks. These posters generally talk a product or service. It tells few pointers about the benefits of the product or service. They have also a footer that informs the reader about where they can read the posters. And here are the examples. Informational posters are classified into beauty products, which is tangible products or non durable. We have the clothing products, the food products. Beverages products
virtual world products like education and software. Services include accounting, bookkeeping, banking, insurance, expertise, and healthcare. Formative posters does not directly promote the business, product, or service. And here are the examples. Show posters can also term as cinematographic posters. These posters are used to promote upcoming TV shows, theater, plays, or musical concerts. Political powers are commonly known as propaganda posters. These posters were earlier used in the 19th century to spread awareness about the war, are currently used by different political parties, especially during electoral campaigns, to spread awareness about the different parties that are standing for elections. Fashion posters have a very straight structure. They generally have a large image of the fashion product, a model, and the name of the brand with a catchy tagline. Such fashion posters are majorly used by larger brands to keep their brand popular among the masses. The corporate posters, as the name suggests, is used by large multinational to advertise their brand. The purpose of using these posters is not to promote a single product or service, but the whole brand of the corporation. In posters are a set of posters that are used to spread awareness about the complete campaign and not just simply promoting a brand. Such posters are used especially during awareness month, such as Cancer Awareness Month, and so on. subject posters. It is called so because it generally has a single subject that is promoted. Subject posters are commonly used to promote a musical performer as the subject of the poster. Affirmation posters, just like the posters that are used to create awareness. There are posters that are used to create affirmation. These posters generally feature a motivational quote to motivate the reader. Businesses could use such posters to make a passerby smile about the motivating quote and discreetly adding their brand name on the folder of the poster.
digital posters. Digitization has taken over the marketing sector with many businesses starting with digital marketing. It has also made its way into a traditional marketing sector in the form of digital posters. Digital posters Digitization has taken over the marketing sector with many businesses starting with digital marketing. Digital posters are not printed but are moving posters that can be either projected on a space or displayed with the help of the LED screen. And the last one is the creative posters and this is usually done by the students in school. Some materials used here in posters or in the creative posters are the crayons, the oil pastel, the roller, and illustration board. And of course, the concept or the design based on the theme 